Hey guys, it's that one guy for the win, and today I'm going to show you how to install a Seagate hard drive. Um, I, I just got this for Christmas, a 500 gig, 7200 RPM hard drive on your new or uh, Mac. Um, I just got this hard drive for Christmas. Here's my old Apple hard drive. If you guys don't know how to uh, take out your hard drive and put a new one, Go to ifixit.com and they will have one. That's where I taught myself how to do this. But um, once you've got it in there, you want to boot the computer and hold the C key with the install disk inside your drive. Um, or the thumbstick, uh, which is if you want to boot from a thumbstick, I think you hold F. I'm not sure, but you, ought, you can look that up online. So once you boot from the DVD, the install DVD, Click the arrow over here. And let's go prepare the installation. And then you want to go up here and go to utilities and go to disk utility. And there's our new 500 gig drive. And we're going to erase this in Mac OS X Extended Journaled. Um, so let's do that now. And I'm going to call it, uh, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, Taylor or no 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 Tog X F T W's Mac but Pro okay there's actually a space right there and race race all right. Now it's partitioning it. Alright, and there it is. So now we got our 500 and 0.11 gig hard drive there. Alright, so once you're done with that, you want to click the red circle up there and click continue. Agree. And then you want to click on your hard drive and install. Now it's installing, so I'm going to skip this part for you guys. Alright, so once it's done um, installing, I see that my camera. I actually, while I was installing, I set up my speakers for the little intro that I got. I got these as well for Christmas. They're Bose um, uh, Companion 2. I might actually upgrade to the bare version with the sub, uh, actually a mini subwoofer. But this should come up. Oh, it got bright right there. Alright, focus uh, with my iPhone 4S camera. Uh, press continue. Alright, so uh, we have Mac OS X. This is at OS X 6, or, um, uh, yeah, 6, Snow Leopard 10.6. And uh, now we're going to restart to the hard drive. And uh, now at this point, with your new hard drive, before we update to OS X Lion uh, um, and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and install everything from my uh, applications install DVD. So, um, also, if you want to update to Lion, And here's the intro. <laughs> I love that. Well, there you go. That was the intro. One of my favorite parts. And so now we're going to click my region or whatever region Mac you're in. OS 10 oh. includes a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. No thanks. If uh, you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the escape key. Uh no thanks. Um but yeah, <clears throat> just continue up here once you have your region selected. 
I am in the United States. So continue. I don't know why, but um, uh, what now is continuing. So we go click on my network, which has no security because it's a retarded um, Vonage router. Don't ever get a Vonage router. Um, so now I'm going to type in my Apple ID. Contacting Apple. Now I got to register this copy, I guess. You don't have to, I don't think. But I'm just going to go ahead and enter that information. Now right here, they're going to ask you where you use your Mac, and uh, that's about it. So you just enter that and go to the next step of the install. Make your account credentials for when you log in. And now it wants me to take a picture. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and continue with this picture. Hey, guys. <laughs> now this part right here will ask you what your time zone is so it can help you with the time settings you have for your Mac later on. It says don't forget to register. Now you are completely done with installing OS X Snow Leopard on your Mac. Now we're going to install OS X Lion. Okay so now once you've got the uh, additional applications uh, disk inside uh, you just double click on the package and follow the instructions and they will automatically write the files to your Mac. Now once you've got your other applications installed go up to here up here by the Apple and do software update and we'll go update all the software on here including the OS itself not to line yet because we need to update it first before we um yeah, update it first before uh, we update it to Lion it's for it to work. And so let's continue. Agree. Okay, so now that we've got everything updated and uh, the latest update is 10.6.8 for OS X uh, Snow Leopard, go to go into the App Store and if you haven't already, buy Lion. And uh, once you buy Lion, it should download. Or if you've already bought it, then just type in Lion, and before you do, uh, go to App Store or uh, Store and sign in. And yeah, so if you already signed in, you just click the Buy app. And if you've already bought it, then type in my password. If you've already bought it, uh, it'll say the update is free. So uh, to update this now, click OK. So now let's go download line and fly down there. So it's right there. And once that's downloaded, I'm going to show you how to burn it to a uh, DVD. Okay, so now you're going to want to open up Safari. And when you do for the first time, it will come up with this. Cool little intro, just kind of like the intro for installing the OS. So now you go go to the website that I put in the description on to uh, Lion Disk Maker. Okay, so once you've got Mac OS X downloaded. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you want to go to the file and applications and go to Show Package Contents, and then um, we'll be going to. Um, contents then we will go to shared support and copy install ESD to your desktop or anywhere um, when you do it it won't delete it but when you ever you or whenever you do the uh, update OS X line it won't install the ESD but make a copy anywhere but it will delete the uh, line app install line app so just make a copy of the install ESD because basically it's the same thing do this I would copy this um, copy it to the desktop paste item and uh, that what's that Microsoft service the sky something Skynet whatever alright well so I'm not going to use 
line disc maker. But maybe I'll do that later. Line, so let's continue. Degree. Install. And go enter my password. Alright, so it's going to restart automatically in about three minutes. So, uh, yeah, and, and it will install to the, uh, the end of this. Alright, let me restart. Okay, so now it's booting, and um, it should bring us to the install screen when it comes up, which will be right here. And so now it's installing, so this will take about 30 minutes. Um, be patient, just leave it alone. Um, and it should go by fast if you're patient. And you'll be done, I think, so let's see. Alright, so it's installed now. So let's restart. Yeah. Alright, so now it's booting up and uh, it should boot to line with the uh, scrolling help window up. Um, and you will be completely installed with a fresh copy of Line and your backup of the install ESD, which is Line itself, um, for use when I show you guys the tutorial on how to make a um, a physical disk uh, install disk for that. But you can see here that scrolling with Line is reversed from Snow Leopard. Um, you could try it out on the uh, words up there. So where it uh, has a low rate. You can also use four fingers to go cross swipe across to uh, switch desktops and if you switch all the way to the left you'll go to the um, what's it called the dashboard and um, five fingers uh, closed and spread apart let me see oh no it's uh, five fingers out and going inward will launch launch pad and the reverse will make it go back to the main desktop, um, which is basically like Springboard for iOS, and also it will ask you for iCloud, and I want everything synced between my iPhone and my Mac, and that just makes it that much easier. So Line is finally installed, and we have the best OS in the world installed on our computers. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys.